You're watching the Bayou Outdoor Show, presented by Bayou Outdoor Super Center, Louisiana's largest RV and boat dealer. Tubbs Hardware and Rental, Bossier City in Benton, Louisiana. Shreveport Tractor, where the coffee pot's always on. Pete Mankin's Nissan. And by Trace Atkins, High Tower Country Smoked Sausage. Folks, welcome to the show. I'm Milton Daly, and if you like hunting in New Zealand, you like today's show. We're going to be actually my son's going to be taking a, a red stag and a chamois. Now the chamois is a little a little uh, oh it's a little mountain goat looking thing. It's actually in the sheep family. Uh, it's got really sharp horns. The red stag is in the elk family. If you'll notice up the top, they kind of cluster. The top of them cluster. Unlike if you look over here, unlike the elk. The elk will kind of split out and not cluster at the top. That's a red stag. We'll be doing that. We'll have some ranches for sale and we'll be doing some cooking right here on the show. But first, what do you say? Let's go take a look at this uh, red stag. At the bottom, follow this ridge line down to the bottom of the hill and you got that little dip on the right, yeah. bedded right up on top of that dark little dip. It looked like a cow maybe. Now there's three or four. One's laying down and there's some behind it feeding. Oh, okay. Way over there. The cows? Yeah, they hinds, yeah. Hinds? Hinds, females. Yeah. yeah. They like this, uh, this river bottom in here. They get in there in the sun because it's still quite cold with that snow. Yeah. And uh, they get down in the sun and they'll lie down in there, nice and close to water. A couple of good bulls are across this canyon. They're a little far. We're gonna see where they go and try to try to put a stalk on them. A lot of country over here. Is that the lead one? Here! Just wait, just wait. Yep, take him. Beautiful. Beautiful kill. Well done. That's <sighs> correct. <laughs> Congratulations. That's a trophy bull there. Well <sighs> Man. <sighs> That's exciting. That was a good shot, too. Oh, he dropped right down. Uh, wow. Just watch him for a minute just in case he, uh... Oh, let's go take a look at him. Well, you gotta watch out for these bushes. They'll stick you. He's, um, he's a good 300. I've turned down so many red stag in the States because they just don't have the crowns you want and don't, mm -hmm. you know. They don't look, I mean, they look like a red stag, but they don't have the true characteristics of a red stag. It's very even if he, did, if he, that one there. I like that, that's though. That's the only thing, but. I like that. Yeah, he's even all the way around, nice and even. Isn't he just, Beautiful, oh, strong tips. Mass throughout. Yeah. 
Kiwi Safaris, New Zealand. Give them a call. Well, what happens mostly when you get boats, your motor warranties is five years. Your boats run lifetime on the hull, but your internal stuff's a year. People really start in four or five years wanting to upgrade their boats, figuring they're going to have a boat note the rest of their life. So they upgrade, and the financing nowadays, banks are working with you and helping you so much. They can find out they can upgrade to a new model boat with the same kind of note. Now you just fill out a credit app with your salesman and they bring it to me and I decide at that point which bank we go to. We can do the 2.69 through one of our credit unions or if you want a longer term we can go through a national lender. Cool. So it sounds like a pretty easy process. Very easy. Huh. Very easy. Try to make it as simple as possible. It's a fun item. You're supposed to have fun while you're buying it whether it be a new boat or a pre-owned boat, mm -hmm. and we can do a term anywhere from 60 months up to 180 months, which is going to be 15 years. A lot, of, a lot of people find out the boats they're running with the notes they have with the new interest rates with credit unions. They can honestly buy a new boat with a new warranty and have the notes pretty close to where they are. That's what our finance people, Angela, does here. Now up next, we got some archery tips with Chip down at Hoot and Holler Archery in Bossier City. Now, uh, hey, Chip and them is brand new sponsors to the show. We want to welcome them, and each week he's going to give us some great tips. And you need to go in there. They've got an archery range. He's a pro shop. He can tune your bow. Let's go talk to Chip. One of the big things about the bows, and we don't normally like to tell folks this, but bows. The bows have gotten so complicated. Years ago, it was sticks and strings. If the Indians had what we have now, we'd be speaking a different language. This is a PSE. It's Milton's. It's a really good bow. But the key to all these bows is not that you can shoot it right. It's that you can time it. You have to check the timing on all two cam bows. If it's set up properly, these things will shoot like a dream. They'll almost shoot themselves. So we, and you can pull this back by hand, but since we're here and we do this all the time, we like checking in here. We like doing, making sure everything's dead on. And what I mean by timing is you pull back, you can see the top cam's a little off. Before he leaves here today, see where the pegs are touching? It's real simple. You have to come to a, to a stopping point. If you don't, then if you keep pulling on the bow when you're shooting, if you pull soft, you're going to have low shots. Pull hard, you're going to have high shots. This is going to change impact. Oh, if it comes out to a dead stop, you're dead on. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. That's something I didn't know. Huh. So we've taught him something, and we're going to make sure he hits, Milton hits his elk, and whatever else he's shooting at this year, Y'all have a good day. Hi, I'm Trace Atkins. You know, I've always tried my best to be honest, hardworking, reliable, and I'd like to believe that uh, those traits are evident in my music and everything else I do. And I think you'll find those traits are used to make Trace Atkins High Towers Country Smoked Sausage. These handmade smoked sausages come straight from my old stomping grounds in North Louisiana. Packed full of flavor, this third generation recipe is made with the finest ingredients. Stuffed and smoked to a quality standard that avoids cheap filler and added water. High Towers has been making sausage in Webster Parish since 1972. I've been enjoying this product for years. I've now joined with High Towers to produce Trace Atkins High Towers Country Smoked Sausage. With a commitment to quality that's important to me and is full of flavor. So. Pick up a pack of Trace Atkins High Towers Country Smoked Sausage. Two country originals. You know, Trace Atkins High Tower Country Smoked Sausage is some of the best sausage you'll ever find. We got introduced to it this year, and hey, that's all we use right here on the show whenever we're cooking out. It's like having old time barbecue. Hi everybody, I'm Dan Morton here at Bayou Outdoors. I want to show you what the features of our Columbus fifth wheels that we have. This is one of the hottest selling fifth wheels that we've got with here on the lot. And I've got a lot of features that I could show you here, but I'm gonna start right on the outside. You go with your, your LP tanks, they're slide. You notice they're smaller? It makes it easier to load back up whenever they're full. Look at the storage area that we've got. You've got a poly floor in here. Makes it nice, very durable, large area in here. AM, FM, CD, iPod hookable for your speakers outside. 
And why I'm pointing up there at these speakers, look at your LED lighting underneath this awning. This one comes with the LED lighting. Some of them do not, but this one did come with the LED lighting. But inside of here, you've also got electric, and this is a full leveling unit right here. Once you pull your pins down, it is a six-point automatic leveling system. And you can see it on here, but I want to show you the docking station also. This is heated. All of your underneath is heated, but also your docking station where you hook up. You see the in-house water filter that you got here? Hot and cold showered, wash off your boots, your hands, whatever you need. Everything comes clue, and you can close this door off right here, and everything is concealed. This is a beautiful unit. As you scan and look around at the woodwork that they have done in here, not only did Columbus put together some very nice, functional furniture in here and woodwork design, but they laid it out. Look at your theater seating that you have to sit in. This is fully reclinable. It's a wall hugger. You don't have to do anything but get in that natural position. This is outstanding theater seating in one. The big TV, big, nice. And while we're talking big, let's look at the microwave oven. This is a microwave convection oven and it is extra large. Look in our bunk room back in here. This has two slides opposing each other back here, which opens up into a great big bunk room. Everything makes into a bed, everything back here. You absolutely, you've got a TV back here. You've got plenty of cabinet space. You've got a half bath back here with a door going to the outside. Folks, this is so you don't have to track, put a bunch of track in into your camper. Plenty of room, and I've got the TV on. It's a little bit loud in here, but you do have a king-size bed. Look at the closet space, all the hanging space. This is electric, like in most of your models, RVs right here. You can have the flame show, but also you can turn a button on and heat this room. It does put out heat, and you can put it to the temperature that you like it for this room. As far as your TV, entertainment center, your DVD player, all this is right back behind this smoke glass here, all tucked away out of the area. Um, I love the, the feature I like most about it is you have your two um, big burners here. A lot of times you have the three smaller ones, but you have the two here, which, you know, outdoor cooking is um, all about uh, conserving space, and they did a great job on that. I like the stainless steel unit. I like this is uh, stain, uh, stain oh, metal, free. Yeah. And um, you, you have a microwave. You don't have to run in and out. And Milton, I would really recommend Buy You Outdoors for your next RV. They can hook you up. Columbus is definitely one of the hotter selling fifth wheels we have. It's in that mid-range to a little bit upper. We have several, several different fifth wheels on our lot here at Buy You Outdoors. When you want to go back and talk about used inventory, new inventory, the way it goes back to service. If we can't take care of you, you're not, you're not going to be happy. I've got younger brother that handles, watches over day-to-day -day business of the service, RV service station and the boat service. I handle all the sales for boats and RVs. Then Larry watches over us and makes sure we're doing right. But it works out good. Everybody is there every day. And you can talk to an owner. And that is, that is the biggest thing that Bayou Outdoor has to offer that every day you walk through the door, you can go find an owner somewhere. Don Tubbs keeps his store so clean you could eat off the floors. His lawnmowers, weed eaters, chainsaws, and leaf blowers are the best money can buy, and his people know how to fix them. If it's unique Cajun foods you want, Tubbs City location has them. Anything, Louisiana, Mardi Gras, souvenirs, he's got them. Oh, and when it comes to the backyard. Buy our lawnmowers, and you'll spend less time mowing buy our grills, you'll have more fun grilling. Tubbs, a fun place to shop. Kubota's got a new line of exciting zero-turn mowers called the Commanders. From 23 horsepower to 27 horsepower. We have RTVs, which stand for Rough Terrain Vehicles, and we also have skid steers. This is the new Kubota SVL. They make it in a 75 horse and a 90 horse. What? Anything you can dream of to help you 
do your job easier, they have an attachment for. We're a full line Kubota dealership here. We've got tractors from 18 horsepower all the way up to 135 horsepower. We have lawn mowers, we have zero turn mowers, we have RTVs. We're a full line Kubota dealer here at Shreveport Tractor where the coffee pot's always on. These are typical places where they actually live, sort of uh, chamois love bluffy places. Bluff. And they, love it. they love a view so they can see things. Yeah. Um, that's the sort of place you see them quite often. Or places with us, a lot of cover, a lot of scrub, and a lot of cover like here. Yeah. So, watch out. That was a good trip. Yep. <laughs> If it's a buck or a female. I don't care as long as it's decent. But if it's if it's a good female, do you want still want to shoot it? Okay. Um, and if it's a buck, we'll definitely shoot it anyway. All right. Gotcha. But where we're looking is, see that there's the cliff face there. Yeah. Right on the other side of the creek. Yeah. Or well, just there's those tussocks. Well, it's just above that, but just out of sight at the moment. What we're going to do is we're going to sneak up around here. Okay. And get a look at it, and then we'll have a good look. The top one on the right. Not like the one running down the hill. No, I know. The top one. It's not moving, right? Yeah, it's staying still. Looks like a young one though, huh, Craig? There's a young one. It's only a uh, kettle, I think. Yeah. I've lost it. Yeah. Way up there, just went over the top. Right on the skyline. Beautiful animal, really nice. But fantastic eyesight, eh? You're looking at about 120 yards. Yeah. So your shot, just aim square in the front shoulder and just really take your time. Okay. Okay. How far up? Is it down the bottom on the floor? Wonder. Oh, I'm moving now. I can't see it. It's right on the side of here. I can't see it. It's quite grey against the... Uh... Yeah, on the bank on that side. On you the could, right side. You could just see it's an ass. Got it. Ready? That'll do. That'll do. Oh, that was, yeah, I got it. It's bleeding bad. Yeah. Just don't roll down there, girl. That'll do. Ooh. Stay there. Don't go there. Yeah, that other one took took off across there. Bad news or good What's news? What's your... Uh... What's that? Bad news is we gotta go to there. Get to there. <laughs> so what about getting right. up, going up right there? You can come up on it. It's all bluff. I ain't no way. Straight to this. We might could go all the way around because I have come up that back side, but it would peek over. Nice set of hooks and. Uh, Boy, they're sharp. Yeah, they I, are very yeah. sharp. Boy, they're Sticky pointing. Like a knife. And they they live up on the top of the mountains. We had to hike a little ways for this. They sucker. do. They love they love those bluffs and they love a commanding view where they can actually um, they turn around and they've got extremely good eyesight and good hearing. But your eyesight's they say is like a, a 10 pair of binoculars. Yeah. You're watching the Bayou Outdoor Show. Milton, I have to say it's uh, one of those, another local trade, can't help but say it's as nice as they come because we do like to keep our inventory as pristine as we can. Uh, it's another low mileage 2012 Dodge, new body style. Uh, as you know, you bought a vehicle from us before. We like to keep our inventory as nice as they come. We expect it to drive off the lot the same way as it came into us. Not only do we have uh, a, a large a large selection, but we also have people honking at me going down the road. That's why I'm sweating, because I'm working hard. Moving inventory. But 
four-wheel drives, we got them. Lifted rigs, we got them. Deals, not going to miss you. It's just part of it. And it's, part, hunting, and it's hunting season. It's hunting season. It's hot, but it's hunting season. It's fishing. It's time to get after it. I want to look at that big old truck. Well, come on. Let's see. Milton, I have a 05 Ford STS. Big rig on 40-inch tires, as you can see. It has everything from the power running boards, upgraded wheels, upgraded sound system. Not only that, but we have low miles, local trade, vehicle that you're not going to be missed on price, but you're not going to be unhappy with what you get. For all the Spanish people in the Texarkana area, we have a lot of cars that have prices high and low. We have cars sportives. We have Corvettes, SUVs, four doors, sedans, two doors, different colors, different marques. Come to see me. My name is Benito, and I can help you in any Cosa que le puede ayudar. Uh, Milton, uh, this is a 2013 Nissan Frontier. This is our Pro 4X model. You know, a lot of people aren't very familiar with these trucks. Uh, you know, a lot of people are kind of familiar with the Tacoma and some of the full-size uh, four-wheel drive vehicles. And the Frontier is kind of an uh, unspoken of hero. It does a lot of things that, uh, it's got a lot of special things about it that most people, you, you can't really see it. You know, the Pro 4X vehicle is set up with an upgraded uh, off-road suspension. It's going to come with an all-terrain tire. It's going to use a specialty shock to make the vehicle ride a lot smoother. And one other neat thing about this is not only does it have a, a limited slip brake system, but it also has an electronic locking rear differential. On the interior of these vehicles, you can kind of see they're set up. Uh, still give you a nice comfort interior, but you can look and see the material there on the seat. A lot more rugged, a lot more durable. You're not going to wear this thing out. Nissan products are their products that are designed to last 200, 300 plus thousand miles with no major maintenance or repairs. So now, no matter what Nissan you're looking for, make sure you come see us here at Pete Mankins Nissan located here in Texarkana, Texas. Located on the western slopes of the Colorado Rockies in the small town of Mesa is a rare 1,531-acre working cattle ranch. The property sits at the base of the Grand Mesa, the world's largest flat top mountain, reaching elevations of 10,000 feet and home to over 300 lakes. And just across the valley is the Powderhorn Ski Resort, which has year-round activity. You have views of both the Grand Mesa and the Powderhorn Ski Resort from all six homes on the property. You know, the main lodge is over 9,000 square feet with six bedrooms and four baths with a deck overlooking Mesa Creek Bottom. You know, the possibilities are endless for this property. It's for the person who sees the value of large acreage with lots of water rights in a resort area. Minutes from a regional airport in Grand Junction and only four and a half miles to the major ski resort of Powderhorn. To learn more about Mesa Creek Elk Ranch, go to our website or give me a call for a very private showing. Milton, you know a lot of places when you go to these cook-offs, they don't want to talk about their ingredients. Sometimes it's just so simple, that's what they don't want to go over with you. It's pretty simple to cook a steak. It's not complicated. I'm going to show you two ways today 
to do it in a dry fashion and then have it marinated overnight. We've got a dry rub right here that we put on there. Uh, Corey has prepped this today with some Bad Byron's butt rub, a little Cajun blast, a little sea salt, and a little black pepper, and just a little bit. We've got a quality piece of meat here, and we want to taste the meat. We don't want to taste all the seasonings. You can put a bunch of seasoning on a piece of cardboard and make the cardboard taste pretty good because all you're going to taste is the seasoning. But we got this quality piece of meat here. We want to experience the meat and not the seasoning. So we've got, we've got our steak here seasoned up dryly with the Cajun Blast and a little bit of Bad Byron's butt rub. And we're going to put it on this grill, and this grill is 550 degrees. That's where I like to cook my steaks at, directly over the fire. Hear the sizzle when you go on there. Three minutes on the big green egg, directly over the fire, and we'll come back to y'all, and we'll flip them, and we'll have beautiful sear marks. And in three more minutes after that, we're gonna turn the unit off, steep it for just a moment. Then we're gonna be ready to let this thing rest. Oh, real important thing. Let your meat get to room temperature. Don't cook it right out of the refrigerator. Let it be room temperature when you put it on this grill. The steaks are ready to come off the grill. I believe after this period of time, they're gonna be a true medium. What's neat about the big green egg is you cook directly over the natural lump charcoal. Natural lump charcoal burns hotter, burns longer, burns entirely so there's no cleanup. This thing is just, is just made for cooking steaks. Now, what a lot of guys do, they will turn it one way, turn it another, they'll get that Ruth Crisp, Ruth Crisp steakhouse look. I'm so excited about these steaks, I'm starting to stutter here. But this is the way I cook them. I don't worry about, I just get the regular sear marks on them, but I wanna make sure they're a true medium. So we're gonna take the dry ones off first. There's that. And I tell people all the time, you can always put your steaks back on. If you feel like that you need to put them back on for the mother-in-law that likes it well done, well, go ahead and do that. But get it off of there before it's too done because you can always put it back on. Okay. Let's look at this and make sure it's a true medium before we serve it to our guests. And to me, I think that's a true medium. No blood ran out. Nice and juicy. This is a mm -mm good steak. Don Tubbs likes them this way. You know, there's a lot of places they won't tell you their secrets. But here at Tubbs, we'll tell you our secret. There's no secret here at Tubbs. And remember, my slogan, spend less time mowing and have more fun grilling. Y'all come see. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed the show. Remember, if you've got property that you want to sell or buy in anywhere in the four-state area or in Colorado, give me a call. Till next week, I'm Milton Daly. We'll see you then.